All right. Hello. Take it <laughs> how Hi. are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. You have no idea how excited I am uh, to talk to you for a variety of reasons. And I'm, I'm sure part of that is Schitt's Creek and, and everything you did there. But today we're here to talk about Single All the Way, Netflix's first gay rom-com. And I, I'd really like to know when you got the script, what was it about this film that made you want to tell this story? Because you have a lot of experience in queer storytelling. I liked, what I loved about the script that Chad wrote is that it totally normalized. It was just a holiday romance. It just happened to be a romance between two men. And I loved the family was so supportive. I loved that he, they wanted him to find love over the holidays. I liked that it was just about that. And everyone in this family supported this and loved these characters and, um, they just, they, he was a single person at Christmas. I've been a single person at Christmas. I've had people <laughs> try to set me up with people over the holidays. It's awkward, but I wanted to be one of the family members who was pushing that. <laughs> and I was, I got and to be the bossy sister. How did that, when you, when you read the script versus seeing the final product, how did that affect you, especially after going through it? Because making a movie, you do a lot of scenes and then they stitch them all together and magic, it's a movie. Right. Was there any element of surprise being that you knew how the story ended out? How, how was it when you first saw it? I still cried my eyes out, Levi. <laughs> and I read the script and I'm in the movie and I still bawled my eyes out. I still laughed. Oh, there were some funny lines. I mean, all the scenes with Michael and Luke that I didn't know anything about. So half of the movie was kind of a bit of a treat and a surprise for me. Um, and I still felt really moved by the movie. It's a really sweet holiday movie. And I hope everybody sits with their families and watches it and brings it into the fold of holiday movies. Now uh, on set, I think you had scenes with pretty much everybody. Was there anyone in particular that working with them? Cause you've worked with some incredible talent. Um, was there anyone in particular that you were like, this is just crazy? Well, Jennifer and Kathy, for sure, um, blew my mind when I found out that they were in the movie. I loved their work forever. Also, Michael, Michael and I have a connection. We have lots of mutual friends. He's so good in this movie. He anchors the whole cast in a way that I think only Michael could. But Kathy is so fun. And she wants to get into mischief in between takes. She wants to like, on the first day, she was like, let's see how many Nespresso pods we can steal from the set. And then she shoved one in her bra. And I was like, you're amazing. And I want to be your best friend. <laughs> She's great. So did, when they finally cast the film and you kind of knew everyone you were going to work with, yeah. how important to you was it that it was very authentic, right? The out characters are actually played by LGBTQ people, which mm -hmm. is somewhat rare, right? In, in film and television. Was that important to you? Yeah, I think it's important. And I, I think from now on, it should really, that's how it should be. <laughs> that's my opinion. Um, I, I love that it was written by a gay man. It was directed by a gay man. They're all incredible. All the people who worked on this film and I, Listen, acting's acting, but I think we need to be inclusive about our casting choices. And I think that hopefully we're going to get better at that as we go along. And during your entire time on set and working on this project, was there anything that went on behind the scenes, behind, besides the pod stealing, that was really something you'll just never forget? I mean, the family dinner scene, just in terms of all the actors that were at that table, Barry had a candy that he couldn't tell was crinkling really loud. At one point I was like, Barry, a rapper. He's like, what? <laughs> we were in the middle of the scene. I'm like, we're rolling. He's like, oh shoot, are we still rolling? And it felt like such a genuine dad moment. Barry is such a sweet man. I would definitely take him on as my actual dad. I already have one, but I would take a second dad if I could take Barry. Um, no, I think it was just, it felt like a family over the, over, we didn't have a lot of time. We couldn't spend any time together outside of basically when we were shooting the scene, we had masks and shields. And other than that, we couldn't really see each other. Michael and I met for coffee outside and sat six feet apart one day, but 
it was a little tricky to spend time outside the scenes. So the scenes themselves were really special to me. Well, thank you very, very much for all of your work in the film and for creating something so special. I think audiences are going to love it. And I really hope that you have a very happy holiday. Thank you, you too. Like this video? Follow us for more.